Hey guys, it's me, Moogan Lord. I'm back again with a new tutorial. I know it's been a while, so let's just jump right into it. Um, today's tutorial is about creating a thumbnail for your YouTube videos. So, for all you Moogan guys out there, or just YouTube users in general, um, now you you know users have a feature that allows you to put thumbnails to your videos to best represent them and you know attract people to clicking on your videos. So right here is a thumbnail that I already put together already, and it's for this video that I'm making right now before I upload it. Um, so for this uh, video, we're using uh, Adobe uh, Photoshop CS5. Um, for those of you guys who are familiar with Adobe Photoshop. Um, this is going to be a pretty simple uh, tutorial. It shouldn't be hard at all. If you, if for those who don't know how to use uh, Adobe Photoshop, this video is not a tutorial on how to use Photoshop. So if you have no knowledge of Photoshop, this video might be a little hard for you guys. So I'm just warning you guys about that right now. All right, all right. So let's begin. First, we're going to do is we are going to go to File. You click on File. Uh, you hit new and when you hit new it creates a new page so I have a new page right about here all right there we go file new bam so when we continue you can get tabs up here every time you create a new file you get new tabs and this is this is material that I already have uh, pre-made already but I'm just going to exit them out so you can get a clear understanding okay so here's your page right here and as you can see the page is a little too big alright so one thing I did discover from um, tweaking um, my thumbnail you know piece by piece to I got it just right to fit on YouTube in my videos um, you have to go to image to be able to change the uh, portrait size so we're going to go to image up here on the image tab and we're going to go to image size click on image size and this is way too big. I don't know why it does that, but uh, here we go. Um, what I discovered with thumbnails, um, the width has to be uh, 281, and the height has to be either 172 or uh, 180. Doesn't make a difference. So, for those of you who uh, don't know how to pretty much uh, customize the width and the height, if you see this box with say uh, constraint portion proportions. This is already on default when you go to image size, and you'll see this lock chain right here. Well, what happened is when this lock chain is here, when you try to change the width, it's also going to change the height, and you don't want that because we want a, a specific type of width and height. So for that to happen, we have to remove the constraint proportions. You click, take the check off, and the chains are gone. So we want to want two eighty one, and the width, no, the height. We want you can go 172. Okay, so you hit okay. It's gonna load up a little bit here. Now the thing is, right here is small because it's been zoomed out too far because it's at 1.5. So we want to take it over here at the zoom tool and go to 100% to show the true size. So there you go. Got the thumbnail size right here. Now what we're gonna do next is whatever video that you're trying to produce is going to need images. Um, text or anything of that sort to uh, present your video in the thumbnail. So you got to go to Google or whatever you get your pictures from. Like me, I have a moving uh, material folder right here. So you want to grab some images that we need to create this thumbnail. So I'm going to grab Sonic. I'm going to put Sonic right here. Bam. Then drag them up by holding the left, the left mouse and drag them up and it creates a new tab with Sonic. And then we're going to need the YouTube logo. And then bam, right there. Then the YouTube logo and we have the Sonic Colors logo. Alright, like I said, this is going to be the finished product by the time we get done. And I already had like a free another pre-made thing done already. So basically what you do is we're going to take the YouTube logo. And we're going to try to we're going to move it to this empty uh, uh, thumbnail uh, image right here, portrait. So in order to do that, we're going to click on the, lo the YouTube logo right here, and we're going to go to the Move tool right up here on the left panel right here, called Move tool. You click it, 
go to the picture and you see the marker right here. So what you do is you hold the left click on the picture and we're going to drag it all the way over to the, un to the untitled empty one right here to the portrait of your thumbnail and you drag and you just drop. Now you notice that the picture is too big and that's a problem. But it's, this is easy to change. All we have to do is just change the size of it. We're not going to go to the image and change size because it's going to just, just destroy the quality of the image altogether and it's going to shrink your, uh, your portrait as well. We don't want that. What we're going to do is we're going to go to edit and we're going to go to transform and from transform we're going to go to scale and this will bring this up the edges and you just drag like this you just adjust the size to you know whatever you're trying to get you know to accomplish for your thumbnail right here and you're drag it down like right here alright then at that you double click and it confirms it put that right here then I'm going to do the same thing for Sonic you can go to Sonic bam you click this with the move tool drag them over to untitled and we drag Sonic in here, drop him, but he's too big. Do the same process. Go to edit, go to transform, and go to scale. Now this he's pretty huge, so we have to just keep scaling him down. Grab the corners, scale him down, scale him down. And then right here, scale down, scale down some more. And then we just adjust him to the way we want him. And there we go. So let's go right here. All right, so next, we're almost done. Now you notice that Sonic is on top of the YouTube uh, letters. These are um, these are layers, basically. And in order to check your layers and check to check your images for adjusting, same as you want to adjust these individually, like the YouTube picture or Sonic himself, you go over to your right panel right here where it says layers. You click on them. This menu will pop up where you see layer one and layer two. Now the way this works is, whatever layer is on top of the other layer, this one has more priority, which means this is on top. So if you want to say, for instance, you want the YouTube on top of Sonic, you just take layer two, left click and drag it underneath layer one, and then bam, YouTube is above um, Sonic. But we're going to take this back, we want Sonic on top. So there we go. Um, if you want to adjust them individually, all you got to do is click on what layer you want to edit, you click on a layer, and you can better move it around. Alright, now we're going to want some text on here. So, in order to add text to this, what we're going to do is, we're going to go over to the left panel, and where you see the letter T, horizontal type tool. It's the text. When you click it, up here is where you can change your font, the boldness of it, and everything of like that, like that. So what we're going to do is, we're going to click on the picture itself, and then we're going to type something. We're going to put how to. Now, if you notice, you can't see the words, it's because the font up here, the font color is white. But we're going to change that in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight what I type, and I'm going to change the, uh, the layer that we're doing, that we're using this text for. Because once you create text, your text is going to be, it's gonna, it creates a new layer. And the text is layer 3, because you see the T right here. So what we're going to do is, we're going to change the layer uh, style. And then we can go to drop shadow, and bam drop shadow, gave it a shadow so you can see the words. And then this is already already made this stuff already. So I all do is just click the check boxes, but you can fiddle around with it with it in order to make, you know, whatever type of layer style that you want. So now you can see it. How to and then you click back on this layer and you just simply adjust it. Like right, that. Now I don't want it too big. So what we want to do it is just like how we did the pictures, we want to edit, we go to transform and we go to scale. And we just squish it in a little bit, make it a little bit smaller, and then bring it up just, just a little bit right here. And drag over. And there we go. And drag over just a little more. Just like that. Double click on it. There you go. How to. And we do the process again. And we type create. A thumbnail. Bam. So we're gonna right click, then we're gonna highlight up, up all, and then we're gonna to go to layer, layer style, drop shadow, and stroke, and hit OK. Then bam. 
Now what we want to do is we want to change the size of it by trans going to to edit transform scale, and then we want to bring it in. Oops, I know if I have to put an E in there. Well, hold up, I have to fix that in a second. Got to fix that. All right, let me go back. To, go back to text again. Put that, and here we go. Here we go. Now we have our thumbnail. Next, we wanted to do is we want to save it. Now the thing is, YouTube is picky um, as far as you know the size of the thumbnail, as far as like, as far as how much you know information or data that you know is required. I think it's. The highest you can, as far as memory is concerned, um, the biggest the file can be is, I think, four megabytes. I think I can't remember. So what we want to do is we want to let's just name it. Go to File, Save As, and we have to click on this and we have to save it as a JPEG because we have to uh, we want to take down the quality just a little bit because the higher the quality quality it is, um, the more uh, you know. The bigger the file size is going to be, then it won't be able to go on to your YouTube at all. So we go to File, go to Save, we go to Save As, and we're going to turn this into a JPEG right here, and then we name it. We call to we call it How to Create a Thumbnail. I put two because I already made this already, so I put this here, and we hit Enter. And when this come up, this the quality is going to be on maximum, but I already have mine already adjusted. The whole goal is this, this is to change the file size. We want, we want to knock the quality down to six to medium, which the quality really doesn't matter because I mean it's a small picture. So the smaller the picture is, you know, you know, the, pix the pixels are more condensed and it looks it still looks clear regardless. So in order for it to fit on YouTube, we're going to go to quality. We, we bring the scroller down to six and transform to medium, and then we hit OK. It's saved. All right. So the next part now is we're going to upload it. To our video. Okay, so all right, here's the next part. We're on here. We here on YouTube now. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to uh, upload. And basically, what you do is we're going to um, select the file to the upload. I'll just go to uh, my videos and I'm gonna go to uh, here and what we're gonna do is we're going to just use a video as, as an example my moving TV logo I'm just gonna erase this when I get a chance we're gonna drag we're gonna drop the video in here so then what you do is right here where it says custom thumbnail you click on custom thumbnail and Go to wherever you save your thumbnail at. All right, pictures, sample pictures, this, and go click on this. And there you go. There's your thumbnail right there. It pops up, and you save the changes, and that's pretty much it. This is it for the tutorial. Um, I hope this was useful or helpful. Um, like I said, you can still adjust it and tweak it to your liking until it's perfect. Um, this pretty much wraps everything up. This is Moving Lord, signing off.